Welcome back to another video. So today's gonna be an update video to the previous M4A1 class setups that I posted on my channel. I'm basically updating these class setups in this video, but I'm not gonna go too much in depth into the class setup since I've already talked about it. So make sure you go check out those videos. Link will be down below in the description. And the reason why I'm making this update video is because they came out with a update which did include a nerf to the M4A1. Now, if you don't know what happened to the M4A1, what basically happened was that they nerfed the damage range as well as increasing the recoil so they note it right here you know i wanted to go ahead and test this out because i want to update my class setups for you guys just to make sure that all of these class setups are still viable so first things first i tested out the m4a1 with no attachments at all so with no attachments from five meters all the way out to 30 meters it takes about four shots to kill which is actually on par with what it was previously before the patch was out then we took it out even further to 35 meters all the way up to 50 meters the shots to kill actually did increase to five shots to kill which is still on par with what it was beforehand and i did test out everything even before this patch came out so i know exactly how many shots it took to kill from these distances all right now one significant change that did actually change to the shots to kill as far as damage range goes is that it takes about six shots to kill from about 60 meters out now if you look at this distance it's kind of impractical you know you're not really going to be trying to cross map people with this gun from this distance so i would say that this nerf actually affects ground war people more than anything because of how big the maps are so one of my class setups did involve the use of stopping power and the socom rounds with those two combined you are able to get a two shot kill again i did test this out just to make sure that it's still actually as effective as it was before patch it's two shots to kill from five to 45 meters didn't really test out anything beyond that because anything beyond that is pretty much impractical especially if you're only given 10 rounds per magazine when you're using the socom rounds anyway this nerf did not affect this class setup at all so now i wanted to test what happens if you just want to use stopping power and you want to use different attachments other than the socom rounds so this is a test with no socom rounds but you do have stopping power equipped so from five Five meters all the way out to 45 meters it's a three shot kill then interestingly enough from 50 to 60 meters it increases to five shots to kill this is something to consider if you just want to use the stopping power and you want to use your m4 a1 setup with any attachments that you want so let's go over the two shot kill class setup really quick that i had previously put out before it's still the same thing we got the gi mini reflex here for the optics of course this is personal preference but for me i like the gi mini reflex and for stock i'm using the no stock option here to increase my movement speed and my aim down sight speed although we do sacrifice aiming ability and recoil control which is actually also what the update brought was some recoil increase and the way you want to be playing with this class setup anyways up close and personal close quarter combat try to keep the gunfights really close and you will melt the enemies and you know recoil shouldn't even really matter anyway but if you do need to cross map somebody always remember to tap fire instead of just pulling down on the trigger and spamming because you only have 10 bullets to work with and you're either going to lose that gunfight or you're going to miss all your shots that's why it's very important to keep those gunfights really close when you're using this two shot kill class setup so for perk we're using sleight of hand here this is super vital to this class setup now the reason why is because when you run out of ammo whether or not you miss your shots whether you get a kill you're always gonna want to stay reloaded and make sure you're ready for the next gunfight and having sleight of hand is an absolute must because you want to be ready to go all right so moving on to the rear grip we're using the stippled grip tape this is i would say a crutch attachment that you would probably want to use on almost any weapon out there it increases your aim down sight speed and sprint to fire speed so this is very important in winning those gunfights especially since we're running and gunning here this is definitely for the aggressive type of player and of course there is a con where the aiming stability is reduced that's nothing to worry about especially if you're playing up close and personal it's most likely going to be a lot easier to lock onto your targets anyway from closer distance so moving on to ammunition this is the final attachment to this class setup that you should be rocking right here this is the most important attachment and the reason why it's a two shot kill right here it increases your damage and also increases your range however the cons are that you sacrifice the fire rate aiming recoil control and the magazine ammo capacity which we already know but you know having this on 
really doesn't make a difference you know you won't really feel this difference like i said you need to take the gunfight to the enemy don't engage in long range gunfights that is the overall theme that i want you to take away from this class setup specifically all right so don't worry about the fire rate don't worry about the aiming recoil control all that stuff is irrelevant if you play the way i'm letting you know right now all right now as far as secondaries you can use whatever you want it's all personal preference i'm just using a pistol right here very rarely i do use it unless i'm actually really out of ammo then for perks you gotta have scavenger on scavenger is going to help you replenish that ammo again for this class setup you're going to blow through your bullets really quickly so it's important that you run over those dead bodies after you get a kill and make sure you replenish your ammo all right, then for perk two, ghost, no question. You gotta be running this. People are gonna be spamming UAVs. Intel is everything. You need to stay off of the compass as much as possible. So make sure you have ghost on. All right, then for perk three, I'm using tracker. This is personal preference. This helps me track down enemies a lot quicker. It literally shows their footprints and it will lead you to the enemy. So that's gonna equal an easy kill. Now, if you don't wanna use tracker, you can always use something like tune up. If you wanna be able to recharge your field upgrade that much faster, it will help you earn it a lot faster so uh perk three is kind of optional but for me personally i prefer tracker just because it's easier to get those kills when you literally see footsteps then for lethal it's all up to you they did nerf the claymore a little bit i still feel like it's helpful especially with how random these engagements are in this game you kind of want something to at least watch your back even if it does not get the kill proximity mine is also another good one to use if you don't want to use the claymore it's a lot more concealed because you don't have those lasers sticking out like it does on the claymore then for tactical this one's a very important one since we're playing very aggressive here i'm using the stim shot so that we can replenish our health a lot quicker and get back into those gunfights man we're going to be surprising enemies they're taking a lot longer to recover but since you have stim shot it allows you to get back into the gunfight a lot quicker and have more confidence going back into it and ultimately take out the enemy hopefully all right so moving on to my alternate m4a1 class setup this one i like especially if you're trying to go on longer streaks and get multiple kills at a time while staying stealthy now the reason why i like this one is because it has this ffs 12.4 inch predator attachment on it it's a barrel and it gives you sound suppression so you can stay as stealthy as possible and off of the compass as well so when you're firing your weapon enemies will not be able to see on the compass now there is some kind of weird thing going on here where when the enemy calls in a uav and you have a suppressor on they're actually able to see you on the compass still so that's something to consider when they do call in a uav just be more mindful of that and don't think like hey i'm undetected you know they can't see me anyway regardless even if they do have a uav you still got to be cautious when they got that uav but most of the time i find myself surviving a lot more because the suppressor does make a big difference you know it helps conceal my location and enemies aren't able to hear where i'm at as clear so sound is everything in this game whether it be footsteps gunfire reloading your weapon battle chatter anything at all sound suppression is in this game for a reason and this definitely helps accomplish that and at the same time it has aim down side speed to help with that quickness in those gunfights so it's definitely a two for one right here and that's why i like this attachment so moving on to stock here i've got the sin guards arm invader now this one's optional but the reason why i'm picking this one over a different attachment what i will get into in a little bit is because of the aim walking movement speed that it increases this kind of basically mimics stock how it was in older call of duties especially black ops 4 where you strafe left and right in those gunfights it helps you be more evasive and a harder target to hit that's why i like this particular stock attachment as well because of that feature right there uh, then for perk i'm using recon this is also a personal choice the only reason why is because it it, it can be hard to see enemies at times so using recon will expose their gamer tag right above their bodies in places that you probably never would have looked. So you're able to see enemies at a greater distance and that will give you a heads up of, hey, I need to be alert because there's an enemy right there. It helps you establish your position and which route you should take according to where enemies are on the map and being able to see where they are in front of you because of their gamer tag being exposed it helps out in that aspect all right so for rear grip again the stippled grip tape is definitely a crutch not really going to talk about it too much because i already talked about it previously uh, then for under barrel this one will help you with that recoil control again they did affect the recoil on this weapon as far as a nerf goes with the update so having the operator foregrip will definitely help you counteract that 
And the aim down side speed is a con, but again, if you remember, we have aim down side speed right here as a pro, as well as right here on the stippled grip tape, aim down side speed. So it kind of just cancels it out right here on this four grip while maintaining that recoil. Everything here as far as perks is the same, except for the third perk. I'm using tune up because with this class setup specifically, I like to be very, very stealthy. And I'm using the dead silence field upgrade in combination with this tune up perk right here. You're able to earn your dead silence upgrade really, really quickly and stay as stealthy as possible so the enemy doesn't hear your footsteps. We all know how loud the footsteps are in this game, all right? So that's just personal preference for me, but that's how I use this specific class setup. This class setup is mostly my stealth suppressor class setup right here, and I really, really enjoy it. I nearly get nukes with this class setup or high kill streaks with it set up right here. All right, you guys, so that's about it as far as today's update video. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and let me know down below in the comments if you do want to see more update videos like this. Every time a buff or a nerf does happen to some class setups that I've previously given to you guys, just so you guys can stay in the know and stay updated. Don't forget to drop a like if you did enjoy the video and you want to help support the channel, and if you are watching my videos and you're part of this percentage right here and you haven't subscribed yet make sure you subscribe and join turbo nation and uh yeah i will see you guys in the next video man peace